Well, I think this show car is uh, very epic. It's very different to um, pretty much every other show car we have done so far um, because it's very far out there and obviously it's inspired uh, by a science fiction movie. So I think it gives you a, a future vision in all dimensions. It is still a car, but it shows the enormous potential of cars in terms of user experience and in terms of how to get from pure driving functions to an immersive experience space. So we were off the car, we came back to the car and we ended in a very, I would say, uh, inspiring object that is a car, but at the same time it's alive. So it's a creature and a car, definitely it is, both sides. But a special idea in this car is that it's not only the destination uh, you are interested in, but it's especially the experience you have while you're sitting in a car. So of course, it's, uh, it's almost a bit more than a car we know from today. So it's, uh, it's a full experience room. Most shocking and most fantasy creating will be the flaps on the back of the car, moving even independently from each other if we want to. The car comes alive thing for sure will be the most stunning and surprising part. My personal favorite is the merge on the central device that really shows that basic idea of that human machine merge. Definitely the wheels, because they're highly inspired by the movie, by the wood sprites, basically, which reflect in the whole exterior also. My personal favorite is really that the interface comes closer to the human and uh, that you can uh, interact with the interface very close to your body and that you get different ideas around your surrounding. The idea was really to create a membrane between yourself inside the car and uh, the outside car and get an idea of the beauty of the nature which is surrounding you using the car as a tool. By taking the inspiration from Avatar, I think we were able to, to elevate our sensual purity language to the next level. So you see that um, in the surfacing and the proportion in each and every detail uh, of that car that it becomes actually very organic. Um, so in that way, I think we, we uh, elevated our language uh, to a more futuristic approach. Free show cars like that is a great inspiration for us and it helps us to do better production cars. It's not that far future of a car. It's, it's not some impossible fantasy car. Um, it's, it's, it's really, you know, distilling down the best ideas about sustainability and, and, and connectivity to nature and connectivity to each other and putting those forth into an already existing car line with the EQ line. And so it's, it's a very, um, it's very forward thinking, but very attainable and realistic car. I see a, a similarity between Mercedes-Benz design team and what we do here on the Avatar sequence. We are continually looking to push the boundaries of what is possible. We don't want to rest on the laurels of our past. And that's what we found in the Mercedes design team. They were out there ahead of the wave ahead of the curve, looking down the future and in a sustainable way. And therefore, I'm so happy about that car because it really shows um, um, the absolute um, elevation of central purity design. I would say if we are currently at 3.0, like an operating system, this car is probably 6.0. Yeah? So it basically makes three jumps in every extent. And also what it shows is that um, the future is a holistic approach. It's not only we do an exterior, we do an interior, we, and then we put an HMI system in it. No, uh, all designers of all different kinds are working together, uh, almost like in the Renaissance, and uh, create something, um, yeah, very complicated. Um, and then they, they um, simplify it again into one beautiful, final object like this.